Hello, and welcome to English Micro Listening Lessons, where you can improve your listening skills by learning how sounds change or disappear in spoken English. This series of videos can be watched in any order and can be used for self-study by independent English language learners or in a classroom by English language teachers. There's information in the box below the video for teachers. Spoken English can be difficult to understand due to something called connected speech, which is the continuous stream of sounds without clear borders between a sequence of words. There, that's better. Some features of connected speech that can make sounds change or disappear at word boundaries and affect your ability to hear words you know are coalescence, elision, reduction, assimilation, resyllabification, linking, and intrusion. Don't worry. I'll explain what each of these means in this series. Awareness of them will improve your ability to hear individual words in the stream of spoken English. Ready? Here we go. Here is comedian Russell Brand talking with a radio DJ about a man who was arrested for dressing like a police officer. Listen to their conversation while you read the transcript below. How many of the red sounds do you hear? What was his... Yeah, it doesn't seem like he's done anything. He from it. Yeah, what did he gain Status. from it? No, what, was his, what was his... Yeah, it doesn't seem like he's done anything. He from it. Yeah, what did he gain Status. from it? If you're watching this with someone else or your teacher and classmates, pause the video and compare your answers. I didn't hear them pronounce any of those five sounds. This is an example of a sound that can disappear in English. So with the sound, his can sound like is, he can sound like e, and has can sound like as. Why is that? It's due to a feature of connected speech called elision, which is what happens when a sound disappears, often to make pronunciation easier. So with the elision of sometimes an initial sound in a word is not pronounced if that word is unstressed and the word before it ends in a consonant sound. So in the example from the video, when he said, what did he get from it? did ends in a consonant d sound and he is unstressed. So instead of hearing did he, you end up hearing did he. Uh, please also note that since there's usually a word before it when this happens, um, this doesn't usually happen with words at the beginning of a sentence. If it's the first word in the sentence, it usually happens in the middle of a sentence. Also, whether or not this happens depends on the speaker and how fast they're talking and how informally they're talking. If you don't understand the symbols I'm using to represent sounds, please see the link to the interactive phonemic chart below. The h sound often disappears in these common English words, the pronouns he, his, him, and her and the various forms of the verb have, so have, has, and had. Please note that the th sound in them also often disappears when it is unstressed and the word before it ends in a consonant sound. So an example is, he gave them money. He gave them money. Here are a few more examples. Number one. Tell him. Tell him. Number two. I should have gone. I should have gone. Number three. Come here. Come here. With number three, here can end up sounding like ear, the thing on the side of our head. 
uh, which can be confusing when you're trying to identify words in spoken English. To help you notice the elision of, I'm going to say 10 phrases. Please write what I say. If you need to, pause the video and number a paper or document 1 through 10. So again, listen and write or type what you hear. Each line indicates the number of words. I'm going to say each phrase or sentence three times. First fast, then a little slower, and then fast again. Here we go. Number one, asker. 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 Number two, leave him alone. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Number three, we love him. We love him. We love him. Number four, the sun had set. The sun had set. The sun had set. Number five, we could have won. We could have won. We could have won. Number six, John has already eaten. John has already eaten. John has already eaten. Number seven, a friend of his came. A friend of his came. A friend of his came. Number eight, people who exercise are healthy. People who exercise are healthy. People who exercise are healthy. Number nine. He is my right hand man. He is my right hand man. He's my right hand man. Number 10. He said goodbye when he left. He said goodbye when he left. He said goodbye when he left. Now, if you're watching with others, pause the video and compare your answers. If you need to, go back and play parts of the dictation. Here are the answers. If you need to, pause the video while you check your answers. A few notes. With number two, leave them alone. When I said leave him alone, it can also sound like him. So don't worry if you wrote him. Them and him can both just sound like um, leave him alone. <clears throat> 
And to leave a person or people alone means to stop bothering them. It's a request to stop bothering them, to stop paying attention to them. Uh, you might notice that in number eight, uh, the second word, who, starts with a W, not an H. That's because we're focusing on the sound, not just the letter H, even though this usually happens with the letter H. And number nine, a right-hand man is someone who helps you and supports you the most, especially with work. So sometimes pronouncing a feature of connected speech can help you hear it when other people say it. So please listen and repeat after me. The most important thing is to try not to pronounce the sound in the second word. Here we go. Asker. Asker. Number two. Leave them alone. Leave them alone. Number three. We love him. We love him. Number four. The sun had set. The sun had set. Number five. We could have won. We could have won. Number six. John has already eaten. John has already eaten. Number seven, a friend of his came. A friend of his came. Number eight, people who exercise are healthy. People who exercise are healthy. Number nine, he's my right hand man. He's my right-hand man. Number 10. He said goodbye when he left. He said goodbye when he left. So to review, sometimes an initial sound in a word is not pronounced if that word is unstressed and the word before it ends in a consonant sound. So a final example is, she lost her keys. She lost her keys. Now it's your turn. Think of another example of elision of the sound at the beginning of a word and write it in the comments or pause the video and share it with your teacher and classmates. And now for the real world challenge. Find an example of the elision of the sound at the beginning of a word in a recorded or real life conversation and post it in the comments or share it with your teacher and classmates. Thank you for watching this English micro listening lesson. I hope it has helped you to better hear how sounds change or disappear in spoken English. Bye.